So we're going to do another video. Um, this is kind of something I really, I actually haven't done a video about this ever. So um, let's just dive right in. This is about um, manifestation. So if you're familiar with the law of attraction, you all know what I'm talking about. Um, more specifically, today I'm talking about failed manifestations. What causes your manifestations to fail? Why did they fail? Why could you not manifest this thing? Um, and, you know, part of that was me learning some pretty eye-opening lessons. Um, and, and sometimes it really forces you to turn inward and really um, work on yourself and confront issues that you weren't even aware you had. Um, the biggest, you know, problem, the biggest two problems I had, and that's what I was talking about, the biggest two problems that I had, um, the first one is really letting go and releasing that manifestation to the universe and trusting the universe to bring that manifestation to reality. It, it already is reality. You've manifested it, you've created it, it exists, it's there, and you have to let it go and detach from that. You've already created it, you've manifested it. And you've visualized and you've felt every emotion and seen every thing about this. Then you have to let it go to the universe and truly trust the universe to provide. When you're constantly like in your head having contradictory negative thoughts and doubts and sending those out and so you're just you're you're contradicting yourself the whole time you have to really let go and really know that you've already created that it's already there and the universe wants you to have it and there's more than enough for you to have it you just have to take a step back and know that it's there and it's going to be there and it's been there um, and get out of the anxious antsy you know um, mode that is so easy to get caught up in um, where you really you want something want something want something so bad And, but by getting in that nervous, anxious space and feeling like you don't have, that's what you're projecting out. And it's, it was really challenging for me to have success with manifesting, but then also to have these times where I felt like I was failing and it wasn't working. Um, and to really realize that it wasn't failing, that, you know, I had not done that basically. I, I had blocks within myself where I felt unworthy over a certain point. You know, I could manifest smaller things that I felt worthy of that I felt like I deserved and that I felt comfortable asking for and then when it came to bigger things I would really start to you know chip away with little that little negative you know voice in your head and that's why it's really so important to build a habit of positive self-talk of doing your affirmations of listening to affirmations of listening to positive things so you can retrain you know your internal dialogue to where it is also supporting your um, manifestations. 
The other thing, and this was the hugest thing for me to realize, when you're manifesting, all right, the, the key is, okay, you are this amazing, unique being who is here for an amazing purpose. We're all on a path. We all have some amazing calling and we all have our own amazing gifts. If you are trying to manifest something that, at least in my experience, if you're trying to manifest something that would cause you to basically go against the path you're on, go against the path you're supposed to be on, if you're trying to manifest something that would fundamentally be not allow you to be who you are, that would diminish who you are in some way, or that is not the path you're supposed to be on. If you're trying, then, and, and it, I know it sounds odd to say, but if you deep down know, you know, you know your truth, you know your calling, you know your path, it might be hidden, it might take a lot of, you know, intense meditation and journaling and really sitting down with, you know, like, for me, it's like sit down with mug of tea, altar, you know, journals, and just talk, talk to yourself, talk to your ancestors, talk to the universe. But the truth is in you. So if you're trying to manifest, if you really, really want something, so you think, I'm going to manifest that because I really want it. But it ultimately goes against your purpose or it would cause you to shrink or diminish yourself in some way. And there's not a lesson there that you need to learn that would be beneficial to your path. It's not going to happen. Um, and you know deep down when you say you want something, you know if that's going to be beneficial or not. Um, you know if it's going to be good for you or not um it could be good for someone else it might be great for someone else obviously but it may be really detrimental to you to your physical well-being to your spiritual well-being to your emotional well-being there are you know there's a lot to take into account i think for me anyway there have been things I've wanted in the, even in my recent past that I really really wanted because not because I wanted them but because I wanted the things that came with them or I wanted the opportunities that came with them and but I knew deep down that it wasn't the right path to be on and so ultimately it could look from the outside because I do talk about you know a lot about um, manifestation and so it could look from the outside like that failed I don't view it as a failure um, so much as I view it as me pursuing a path that would be that that wasn't meant for me that would be detrimental or distracting from where I'm going because ultimately like I say we all have our own path and we all, all have our own truth and you you know that like I say spend enough time with yourself spend enough time in meditation and no matter how much you want to fight it and deny it you know if you're on this journey especially if you're becoming more spiritual and you're really turning inward then you just know, you just, you really become more in tune with yourself, more intuitive. And as an empath, I mean, I know I knew it already, but it's easy. <laughs> We're human. It's easy to get caught up in wanting specific things, especially if you've been in a position where you've always been told you couldn't 
have certain things. Um, so it's really, you really have to put the time and effort into knowing yourself, knowing your path, having that clear vision for your life. Um, down to, and it's, you know, it's fine to have money as part of that, or the house as part of that, the, the life partner, the business, picture it all, but just make sure it's in line with the universe's plans for you, and make sure that you have your, you know, vibration raised to such a high level that you're on the same level as all those things, and you can't lose. So you just you just have to keep your vibrations high, your vibe attracts your tribe. You know, you are the product of like the five people you are around the most. So make sure like they're keeping your vibrations high and that you all have the same drive and that you're uplifting each other and supporting each other and that you really, really know where you're going, like in this universe, and trust the universe. The universe is always listening, and the universe always says yes. So just keep that in mind, and I think that's all I have for tonight, so I will talk to y'all later.